I want to share something with you today that's going to help your blood circulation get into your legs and feet so you can feel much better. Understand that there are millions and millions of people who have poor circulation in their legs and feet. Well, you're getting swelling, you're having difficulty walking, tightening in the ankles, and there are many things that cause this. We know that poor diet, excessive refined and white sugars that lead to excessive accumulation of placking in the arteries, diabetes, carrying around too much weight in your belly. Yes, you may call it obesity or just overweight, but I want you to understand that there is a simple thing that you can do at home where you can get immediate changes and feel so much better, but you must change your diet. You must start exercising. You must start losing weight because what I'm going to help you with today, there's no doubt you'll get great results. But don't fool yourself because there is no magic drink, no magic pill, nor any doctor that's going to make these changes permanent unless you take responsibility. And there's no doubt when it comes to foods that beetroot juice is the best juice to help increase nitric oxide production. And this promotes vasodilation. And what's amazing is that within those vessels deep inside that nitric oxide is produced not only in your legs or your arms or any other part of your body, it's produced everywhere. Realize that when you have a narrowing of an artery, less blood can get through that artery. So you're having less circulation getting into your feet. You're retaining more fluid as it's gathering up, unfortunately, we have gravity working against us. But hold on. If we can vasodilate those arteries, as well as increase our exercise, utilize those muscles, squeeze on those veins, which I'll get to at the end, we can make tremendous changes. But what's beautiful about this, you can lower your blood pressure and take stress off your heart at the same time. And lemons which is rich in vitamin C. It's a powerful antioxidant that plays a crucial role in maintaining the health of your blood vessels. Vitamin C helps in the production of collagen, a protein that provides strength and elasticity to the blood vessels. And by supporting the integrity of these blood vessel walls, vitamin C will indirectly promote healthy circulation. It helps prevent the damage and weakening of the blood vessels, reducing the risk of conditions like atherosclerosis, which is hardening of the arteries, clogging of the arteries, and promoting overall cardiovascular health. And honey has significant medicinal healing properties when it comes to our body. Its antioxidant properties, including phenolic compounds and flavonoids, help reduce oxidative stress and inflammation which can contribute to blood vessel damage and impaired circulation. And honey has been found to help stimulate the production of nitric oxide in the body to a lesser degree as well. So here's what you need to do. You're going to need one cup of beetroot juice, one to two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, and one half to one teaspoon of raw honey. And if you cannot drink honey, use a natural sweetener. And in a blender, you're going to combine the beetroot juice to fresh lemon juice and raw honey or natural sweetener. You're going to blend all the ingredients until well combined. You're going to pour the elixir into a glass and let it sit for a few minutes to allow any foam to settle. Drink this elixir slowly. There's no specific time that you have to drink it. You can drink it before a meal, during a meal, after a meal, you're going to get those benefits with those nitrates, that nitric oxide, you're going to get that vasodilation. You're going to see tremendous changes with your circulation. And if you're going to make beetroot juice, you can definitely add one cup or even up to two cups of water to it, depending upon the strength that's comfortable for you because beetroot is extremely powerful. So it is okay to dilute it because you will have more liquid that you can drink throughout the day or over the next couple of days. When it comes to beetroot tea, you can take a couple pieces of beetroot. You can add 
one cup of water, two cups of water, depending upon how much you put in, you can boil it and then strain it. So there's no exact amount that you have to use. As long as you're getting a significant amount of that beetroot, you're definitely going to get those benefits so you can help increase your circulation in your legs and feet. But here's a few things I like you to do to really help that circulation because the more movement we can get in those feet, the more we're going to contract the muscles in the legs. Behind the leg, the calf, in front of the leg, what we call the anterior tibialis, that's where our shin bone is. So if these are my feet, I want you just to pump them down, pump them up. And you're gonna do this for a minute or two. And you can go side to side, you can go clockwise, you can go counterclockwise. But as you're moving your feet, you're contracting these muscles in our legs. And when you contract those muscles, here's what happens. The muscles squeeze on the vein. So if you're pulling inflammation where it's gathering up, as those veins start to contract and as it squeezes from those muscles, it's going to help pump it back up to the heart which overall you're going to get better circulation because you're not going to have any edema or excessive fluid that's sitting in your ankles and feet. Also, you can elevate your feet above your heart when you lie down. But more important is your diet. I want you to start exercising, a little bit of walking. If you have bad knees, a bad hip, it's okay. Just stand there and just move your feet up and down. Just move it around, contract those muscles. It will make tremendous changes to help you get that better circulation so you can feel so much better. So I challenge you, start adding that beetroot juice along with that lemon and that natural sweetener or honey and start utilizing it daily. You may feel so good so quick you may want to do it twice a day, but start out once a day, see how your body reacts. I honestly believe that you're going to see great changes. It's safe, it's healthy, it's great for your cardiovascular system. It's really a winner. I'm excited for you. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. I'm excited to see how well it's done for you. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.